I've been having a lot of fun with the Shoemate Polaris plane. This is a 30 inch wingspan plane. I think it's uh, like 43 inches long or something like that. And uh, having a lot of fun with it. I uh, love the ability to fly off of grass and water. And so I was looking to go a little bit bigger. The Shoemate uh, Polaris is available in 150% scale. So what I did to change things up was I took that Polaris 150% scale plane and transformed it into an Aquacat, which is essentially the same plane, reconfigured rear wings there, and uh, those braces on the side there that actually stiffen up the whole uh, tail section. So this is about a 44 inch wingspan. It's uh, 61 inches long, 52 ounces heavy. And because it's such a big plane, I've got a Turnigy uh, 3648 motor. This is a 1450 kilovolt. Um, with a 9 by 7 by 3 prop and I've got a 100 amp ESC it's a little bit overkill but this will be drawing about 70 amps I put it up here in the airstream I've sealed around it so it's got a heat, heat sink built in and uh, it's going to keep nice and cool I hope during flight I'm running this off of a 3000 3S flight max battery 40C and we'll see how it does alright here goes nothing That's right, there goes nothing. The wind caught it. That was a neat trick. It's got plenty of thrust. Oh, it's actually flying really well. Uh, Considering the gusting, I've got a KF2 airfoil on there, which is not ideal for the wind, but I mainly put it on there for strengthening of the wing. I, I thought it was going to be a 40 ounce plane, and uh, it's a 52 ounce plane, so there's a little bit more wing flex that I wanted. I'm about half throttle here. I don't want to push it too hard because I want to see how the ESC feels. Wow, look at the wind take it. Oh, it's funny to see a big plane like that in the wind. Uh, better bring it down. I don't want to kill it. I got to check out the ESC and battery, make sure it's cool enough. It's in the, the ESC is in the airflow, so it should be good. But uh, I think I'll wait for a calmer day and try to bring it down. Okay, I'm going to land it kind of fast. Oh, whoa, whoa. I, I didn't see th that happening. All right, well, initial testing is great, although uh, these are not ideal conditions. I can't wait to take it up in no wind and uh, see what it can really do. Let me check the ESC. ESC is just barely warm. Check the battery. Battery is barely warm. That's got no airflow too, so the battery is just fine. ESC feels really good. Let me undo the battery and check the motor. Motor's cool. That's a 9 by 7 by 3 prop, and the motor is cool. Uh, what, a, what a beast that motor is. Well, I'm very happy. I've got some onboard footage, and I'm curious to see how that looks. But uh, I'll be taking it up on a calm day and see what it can do, and then I'll take it up in the water on a water flight. But uh, very nice. Can't even feel the weight. 